Welcome back to Let's Talk. I'm Sharad Kutin. With me, I'm Afuad Osman, the artist as well, uh, guest curator, Shabir Hussein Mustafa. They're part of an exhibition that they jointly put together about Fuad's work. The, at the end of the day, even art is not important. This was a mid-career uh, show uh, featuring his work from 1990 to 2019. Um, okay, so... Negotiations, public outcry, news reports. I mean, art doesn't often get this kind of national publicity. I can tell you that much, right? You all know this, right? Uh, so, but then there was the last bit, there was this, and this is around art, uh, which featured um, uh, uh, your landscape and an individual lying in the snow. For yeah. And the charge of obscenity often comes out political sensitivity, obscenity are the favorite charges against artists, or in fact anybody, to silence them. Why do you think that was work was so difficult? Uh, was one thing that the Balai held on as something that needed to be censored? Um, well, I think it's clearly because of nudity. Yeah. Um, it's not full frontal nudity, it was uh, the person lying down, Lying right? down, yeah. Naked. Okay. And then, um, just like I said, you know, in the process of art making there's a lot of um, negotiation going on already like myself i have to think you know how to put this thing up you know on on, on the canvas you know whether um, i want to put um, uh, frontal or uh, uh, how i mean i mean how big you know the, the the size of the canvas what color and how to put this and that everything have to be thought over and then the 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 male figure over the female figure i have thought over this and uh, yeah i think uh, still at the end of the day you know the the new figure is still a new figure and there's still a big a, a taboo here in 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 malaysia and, but you would um, not be the first Malaysian artist that has has done nudes, depicted male or female bodies nude. Definitely not. Yeah. That, and your a lot of your art also includes your own body. In this yeah, particular yeah. picture, it's not you, but in others, you use you use your face, you use yeah, your body. Yeah. I mean, Mustafa, jump in there. I mean, w this charge of obscenity it's a it's a it's a powerful charge because everybody sort of shrinks from kind of defending obscenity. Mm. But is the nude necessarily obscene? I don't think so. Uh, and this is sort of uh, something that we discussed at length. And essentially, the exhibition is quite clear in terms of what it seeks to do. That here is one of the most celebrated artists of our time. And these are his little children, essentially, you know, that he has given birth to. And uh, we are attempting to understand uh, this journey over 30 years. So, so if you ask me whether the figure itself and nudity in particular, I think this is an ongoing and a perennial uh, debate, but not necessarily. Uh, I w this is how I would respond to it. Okay, we move away from the obscenity charge to the charge of political sensitivity. And I don't, I mean, many ways I don't get it because in many, in uh, your career spans, a very interesting period in Malaysian modern political life, right? Mm -hmm. uh, you were there very strong in the 90s and then the 90s ends with the dramatic political crisis yeah. of reformasi and that's in the work that's, that yeah. was in fact censored. Yeah. Yeah. What, what about that? I mean, what do you think was happening there? I mean, for you, why did you want that work <coughs> in particular on the wall uh, and its removal, what did it mean for you? It I was part of the uh, I was part of, of the reformacy uh, era uh, period. I was there, experienced all this, uh, you know, tear gas and all that. You know, the <laughs> I was there, and uh, I believe that as an artist, um, the work of art is not only just to beautify, you know, your 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 living room and all that. You know, I think as an artist, we have. Um, a bigger purpose to play, mm. you know. So this is one of it, and um, I, I, I feel the need to document, even though it's not really, uh, because um, maybe it will it be sensitive or controversial or something. But still, I do need that at least. I need to document mm. this particular period and moment at least for my family, for my close friends, for whoever that is uh, really close to me. 
uh, I, I really feel that because it also will become um, an alternate history because we don't really find this in, in the you know, mainstream history. So um, this is important for me because most of uh, my political works, if, if we can see in, in the show, it's basically um, I, I'm doing that for, for, for me and for my, you know, immediate environment but I didn't really expect that now it became really <laughs> you know yeah so I, I don't get the charge because you can imagine a time when in fact the representation of reformacy and the, and the and these moments right the beating up of Anwar Ibrahim so and so forth might have been difficult for the government of the day to accept mm -hmm. but things have changed I mean we actually had a change of government um, the dream of reformacy was this change of government so it, it really surprised Surprise me, and I, I still. I mean, Mustafa, do you can you make sense of it, or is there something in the, in the region that make, gives you a sense of how and why this might have happened? This des de desire to censor this m political moment from the show. Well, I think I think it's 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 really about um, how at any moment in time, right? If one is to really look at the history of humanity, uh, art has always attempted to challenge established conventions. And so whilst we think that um, the political realm is uniform, it is far from it. Right? I mean, we know that things work differently in different places. And so as a result, I think uh, the works themselves, not just their necessarily the removal or their reinstatement, I think that's not what we're really interested in. We're really interested in the content of the work itself. The works themselves enabled uh, a real public discussion uh, to emerge and I think this is the promise of, 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 of all art institutions that yep. they must enable uh, people to come together and debate and we may disagree at times yeah. right uh, we don't have to agree on everything but at least it enables that to happen and I think this is this is what's been I think for both of us being a kind of the productive aspect not positive or negative but productive in a sense yeah. well do you, you know uh, there's been said and we did an interview with Kathy Rowan from Arts Equator mm -hmm. that suggested that you know this particular instance of censorship had many firsts and included your rather vocal desire to, to sort of state what had happened that artists are often doubly censored their work gets censored and they themselves are silenced because of fear yeah. that they damage their relationship with the institution do you have that fear that that now mm. you will be seen as a difficult artist that makes demands <laughs> that goes to the public i thought, I thought about it <laughs> at first but i think it's, it's um you did think nothing about it. nothing to lose i think because um I've, I've been quiet for quite some time, you know. When I moved to Bali in 2011, I have not shown that much, not just here, even, even in, in Bali. Because for me, um, if you, you don't really have something to say, you don't say some, anything, you know, you just keep quiet, it's okay, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, you just say something when you, you really have something to say, then you will say really something, you know. But... Um, you cannot stop working. So, so for me, I, I stopped showing for quite some time, almost 10 years, until um, in 2018, just before election, I decided to have a show because I really feel that I need to say something, I need to show. It's a primitive show, which, which I did with uh, a, at A+, you know. It's, uh, that one is really, uh, I really need to, to show it, to open the show before election. And we really uh, did that and it, it works, it works, mm. you know, it's it relevant. And for me, um, I think, well, you know, just, just like I mentioned, you know, I have to say whatever that I have to say, I have to say. Okay, you know, so. <laughs> unstoppable. Okay, we'll take another <laughs> short break. Uh, we'll be back soon. Take care.